Okay, YouTubers, good morning. We're going to work on a BMW F10, and then this is the IP address in I2 radars. And then we're going to click here and I like that, and then we're going to click reserve item. And should change the reserve. Come on. Right, there it goes. We're going to try to connect to this car using this and see what play out. We're going to use this target selector here, Project F10 2018 of November 520. All right, and then let us wait and see. Uh, everything's lit up on this. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah, all right, let me try this here, 6804. Let me try this port. All right, still don't connect. All right, I think there's... um. All right, the port is that. Let me see now. 3345. Let's save this. And we we'll make sure that this is remote host right here. We close that file and then we we'll minimize this. Then we we'll see if we can lock. Alright, reserve. Minimize and go back to ESIS and then go on to again. Disconnect from car. Alright, we we'll see with F10 here. And then we go fishing at Ethernet icon. Let us see if we get connection here. Should connect. So we're 520 at 10 Alright, so you replace this one, the STMR, right? Yeah, man, it's activated. We can go and run a check on it too by going here. There's, oh yeah, it's gonna be activated. Product is not activated, but it will be activated. I guess the computer is moving slow. It will be activated when they do a restart, you know what I mean? Oh, the FRM has a fault code in it as well. Okay. I guess it worked with the headlights, so it will have a fault code or two. Okay, so these need to be coded. We can go software update here. Something is wrong. It's supposed to be calculating measure plan, you know what I mean? Yeah. It should be calculating measure plan. Let me see if there's this only one instance of this thing running. It should be calculating measure plan. The measure plan should be calculating as I click on software update. Um, the coding... There's no coding file open this. TMS3. Okay, that's the variant. I need to take TMS3 on other. Okay, it's okay. I need to take a picture of this. Let me build up a. The variant for this is a TMS3 right address 42, and this one is working address 41 TMS uh, left. Alrighty then. So I want to take. We save that. That is a vehicle order right there. So we save this. Call that vehicle uh, vehicle details. I level will be uh, so that is what they mean by that. I need that I level actual when I'm gonna make a transaction list in um in ISIS, so there it goes. It showed up right here. Connect via VIN. Diagnosis address. All right. I'm going to connect via VIN. It's supposed to establish connection now. There it goes. Read out vehicle order. Read VCM. We activate FA. Okay. So let me pause right here. Let me yeah, the I level is 1403502. Actual, I'm um, sorry, the level factory. We're gonna save FA BMW F10. Then it would be.
D six seventeen eight five three. Eight five three. We'll call this FA. And we save that. Then we also save the this as um, BMW. I just ICOM definitely was the problem with it not connecting then. Yeah, maybe. I'm going to check that out later. Um, the... D six seventy in. Now we save that. Let me see. We can call that that, and then we click complete flash. Then we um we go for the uh, level fourteen oh three five oh two. Is that am I correct here? Let me look. 1403502 F10 1403502 Alright, and this is the current I step we're working with right here. This one, then we calculate sol and we wait. Um, one is from the factory. Whenever you're gonna flash uh, control modules on a car, and um, you have to choose the one from factory first. I mean, in order to calculate SVT sol, you have to choose I level shipment first. I level shipment will be the one that states right here, I level factory. Okay. So you have to choose that one first, and then it's up to you after that to choose any one of the target. It could be 2018 November target or 2019 March target. You know what I mean? Just that is te telling you that the car is gonna be flashed, and the, the I level is gonna be increased to 2018 of you know November if you okay. had choose the one from 2019 the car would have been updated with the latest eye level data of 2019 of March so that is what that means but it does not change the eye level factory though you understand right. okay. yeah you know eye level factory is what you use to determine when the car was released it contained the build date you know the build month the build here and so on and it also is written within the vehicle order and the vehicle order established a vehicle profile so that okay. the higher level shipment can't be changed. We have to do everything based off of that because it contained, you know, dates from when the car production date or construction date. So we need that right. to go forward. No, it is calculating SVT sol. SVT sol is called a reference table where it measures. All right, the one that is called SVT IST is called actual installation table. It is creating a reference table off of the actual installation table of all the control modules on the car plus their files on the car. And then when, okay. it, cre when it created SOL, it gave us an option to, you know, update the car with the latest eye level data on it. Or we can actually um, create a transaction list off of both IST and SOL. So it okay. takes it, it take into consideration the process class, the identical state, are the actual state of the files and if we want we can write over the same files on it by clicking hardware ids from svt actual and then you know we can have those go along in the transaction list and transaction list contain the final analysis of what the car is going to be the new state of the car going to be so you know that's what it really means sol contains a reference for what latest psdz data is going to be updated on the car it is going to become it's going to become the new actual eye level Yes, yeah, had a lot of reading up to do. I mean, that's when somebody teaches, you know. Yes, a lot of reading up, yep. All right, so we scroll down and we look. All right, these red files here, these are the, the reference files that is going to be written on the control module after we make a transaction list with them. So the red files mean that it's going to overwrite the ones in blue. The one in black mean identical, they will not be overwritten. Okay. So the ones in blue will be overwritten by the ones in red. So that red is called SOL or reference. So we're going to scroll down and look for the variant CMS3. Should be coming up anytime soon. Here's it. Uh, this one. You see, the, you see this file in red? Right. Yeah. 
And team is one. Yes, that is the one that's going to be written to the control model. Yeah. This and 41 one. was the uh, left side, which is no, no writing to any of them, then, I guess. What do you say? The 41 or 42? Yeah. The TMS 41, isn't that? That would be the left headlight, then, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, yes. And the other one is the right. Is the right one you replaced, right? Uh, we replaced the right one. That's right. That's correct. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to save this cell here. I'm going to use the same name. But I'm going to change the extension to cell. Actually, right, yeah. I told you the right one was replaced, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to create a transaction list, calculate tile. Or I'm going to save tile as um, BMW. F10 10, ten D six one seven eight five three tell. Alrighty then, so I'm gonna pause for now. Let me go in expert mode here and I'm going coding. I'll read out FA and activate FA. Read BCM. All right, let us choose uh, complete that. So, you want to just keep it running as well? Yeah, keep it running. Yeah, the okay. engine, com the engine, right. co the engine computer not gonna be affected. Uh. Fourteen oh three five oh two. Oh, that's five oh three. Shit, I keep the wrong one down. All right then. So what we do now? We recoding data. The coding data will be put right in this folder. They, they are loading up. I want to save those files. For sure. <laughs> oh, yes, it's more complex. Yes, very good. Very more complex. Very more complex. Takes a time to um, learn these things and um, do it properly. Hopefully, we get a successful session. So what's the risks of breaking these to use uh, with all this? Probably pretty high. Oh, well, I don't know yet. I don't know. I mean, no, no, low, pretty low, pretty low, pretty low, pretty low. I mean, not on this one, but I mean, in general, you take somebody like me who uh, is going through a learning process with it. Is it pretty fail safe or is it uh, pretty, uh, pretty open to whatever consequences of clicking the wrong mouses and uh, put the wrong info in, I guess? I'm gonna scroll down here, go down here, blah blah blah. I'm gonna see if I can inject the coding file inside of the TMS using this function here without actually flashing it. Plus 42, right? Let me detect CFD. Okay, it detected, and here's their files are that it detected, so click OK. And then we, oh, whoa, 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 what, what, what happened? Yeah, this is it. Check, CMD. Oh, I don't see the coding button. Um, the coding buttons are not highlighted here. So I detect that. Coding 10, 16. Uh, this one, this is one I wanted. This one, the file here, this file. 10, 8, 3. This is I level when I updated 2018 of November 520. I mean, there's no way to save this. Oh gosh. I mean, all right, I'm waiting first. Let it do what it's doing here. It's doing something that um, detecting CFD for software unity because detect CAF meaning detect coding application file for software unity SWE means software unity uh, yeah so I don't know should I wait close transfer oh sorry um, 
Oh shit, I'm going to just select this one. This is the one I'm going to select. That it. Let me go back down here. And code. All right, I'm writing the coding file to it now. Okay. Yep. So it's supposed to be finished in no time. We do not have to flash the control module with bootloader because it already have a bootloader on the software flash file. I'm just writing that file into it. It should be working okay now. All right, I think it's finished. All okay. right. All right, wait, wait, don't do anything yet. I have to, I have to read it out with study and then remove the file code. Wait, let me copy this. All right. That, 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 um, that result that I did because I like to keep track of everything I'm doing here. And, uh, TMS3 STM R, right? Yep. Yeah, it was yeah. yeah. Successfully done. Let me open this file. Let me copy all that that I paste there. Show us that it finished, started, finished. It takes seven seconds. Shit, that was quick. All right, we inject the coding inside of it so we can close that now. And you said error, zero error. See that it's done okay. The CD deploy finished okay. Okay. Fine. Very good. Um, we can select that. Uh, TMS. C A F D deploy okay zero errors alrighty then so we close that um well we can read out VCM again let us read out VCM let us see if it come back block and here's it to see it come down block you see that yeah oh yep there it goes and um we can go here and we can read coding well the coding data can be um we can read coding data. Let me see if I can. Let me click on the control one and read coding data. Let me read this coding data here. And then we can probably, we can um, click on the folder and we can click edit FDL. Oh, well, let me go here. And the password will be one, two, three, four, five. Click OK. Oh, well, it's wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's still wrong. The guy, I need to ask him what password he said. Let me ask him, okay? Just stay on the line, okay? Right. He would go to, um, you know, expert mode here and then go to tile processing. But I already inject the CFD. Oh, I do the flash in here. I just select this. Then I select the tile. And then as you can see here, um, it shows that there's a CD deploy already in the TMS. You see TMS 42? Yeah, it say it shows you that we do not need to write a bootloader flash as you can see that the box is grayed out. So it, it, it shows us that we do not need to deploy software deploy files and so on. And then it gives us an option for C D deploy only. So the software determine exactly what must be done to the control mode. Then we choose SVT solve from that. And then we also click read FA from VCM. And then that's it. So in order to go forward, you just uncheck all of these. We're not gonna do all those control modules, just the T. The TMS on address 42. Well, we have to write the coding file, so we're not, we do not have to do it over. If we do it over, it's still, we're going to check software availability. Software unit is there. We can still, you know, we can uncheck parallel programming here, and then we can go back and click start. It's still going to write the, um, the CD deploy over again. But I'm, this is the way I normally do it. You know what I mean? Okay. So I'm going to do it, and um, we're going to wait. We're going to scroll down to the bottom here and look for the progress bar at the bottom. It's going, going and going. When it's finished successfully, it's gonna give us a green bar and said um, coding finished successfully. If it's having errors, it will come up with a red bar at the bottom. And there it goes. See that? It's finished now. Right. Yeah. Okay. And I already saved this result. This one was done in 15 seconds. The other one take about seven seconds. So um, 
I think this is it. We sign off for now and then um close the connection and then we um we can close these things because we finished. Let me remove that and um let, we we unreserve icon. Oh sorry, you're using we are using all right. Unplug the um the Enet cable from the car and then plug the icon now, okay? Yes, unplug the e yes, unplug the Enet from the car and remove it from the laptop. Then you plug the ICOM first to the laptop, then to the car, okay? Okay. Right, no, the car, then the No, listen. Computer. Listen, plug the ICOM Ethernet cable to the laptop first. Because the oh, reason okay. the reason why I told you to do that because some of the ICOMs they come with Wi Fi card. If you plug plug the ICOM to the car first, it will give it power and assume Wi Fi mode because it sends there's no Ethernet connection first. So you okay. plug the Ethernet cable to, from the ICOM to the car, then you give the ICOM power from the car, okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Thanks. All right. Yes, identify now. Yep, I see that. But it's showing like it's touch and go, touch and go. All right. Right, there go show it up free so we minimize that and we minimize that and we run this and then we go complete identification here it goes we're gonna click connection let's find terminal 15 and terminal 30 you understand the terminals, right? You know the reason why you have terminal 15 and terminal 30. You understand that concept? Yeah. Okay. 15 is, uh, is that the, uh, that's the ignition, correct? Yes, sir. And then 30 is always hot. Yes, sir. All right. Yep. All right, we're going to look at the fault codes now. All right, you see it still show that there's no current coding data stored in it. Okay. All right, we're going to remove these. All right, we're going to do these functions next. We're going to delete the fault codes. We're going to do this one here, this one. We're going to initialize that, and then we talk this one in, okay? And then uh, let us go back to... um. We're going to go back to the control unit tree. We're going to look at the coding file is written into it. There is it. You see that? All right. Yeah, see the CAFD files at the bottom, you see that? Uh, which one? Yeah, yeah, I see the, all on the bottom, right, where the three coordinates are? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, there's it right there. So, so the right one's coded. Yeah, so what we're going to do now, we're going to delete the file codes here. And, um... And then we're going to do a lead teaching and then it will work okay. The I beams and low beams will work okay. Uh, car just cut off. Yes, yes. The software is, is set up that way to do it for the F series and the G series. Yes. It will turn it back oh, on. It? Yeah, all right. Yeah, it will turn on back terminal 15. Okay. Don't worry. Let us look what the file code is. It will be teaching and stuff. We're going to do it right now. We're going to do that just right now. Right here. The LEDs are now talking in the HTML. This project takes about 60 seconds. Status of adaptation process of LED. LED teaching process ongoing. Teaching process successfully completed. Adaptation of LED lights in the left light. Uh, LEDs are not taught in the STMR. This procedure takes 60 seconds. Do not require. Okay. Yeah, it's on. The LED lights are on now? Yeah. Yep. Okay, no big deal, man. Perform. Wait, we have to wait. All right, service function finished, okay. 
All right, we're gonna go back and delete the fall code here, and then it should be all green. And then it should come back all green and so on. All control model should come back green. The STMR should have no faults in it. It should be all green and so on. Never done that without your help, that's for sure. Yeah, I know, man. When you when you everybody need everybody else help, everybody's help at some time. I mean, everybody can do everything, you know. I mean, so I mean, I learn from others. I mean, I do a lot of research and stuff. Okay, there it goes. Every control model green. Yep. Let me yep. save a copy of that. Okay, so let us look at vehicle details and look at, um, okay, no big deal. So, you know, we're kind of pretty finished right now. So let me save operations report. And this takes up time to load. There's a lot of shit to load. Print operation report, blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes, sir. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so um, it shows that the action list we just take, you know, we clear DTC, then we initialize new headlight driver module and teach in turn indicator and so on. Okay, turn on the I beam and see if they come on and working. Okay. Work and uh, working. Uh, yep, yeah, everything's uh, working. You can see them move up and uh, yeah. Okay, test the indicators to see if they flash. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they work too. Yeah, everything's working good. Okay, man. Cool. No big deal, buddy. All right, man. All right, all right. All right. Let me click on now. Uh, wait, wait. Service function. Let me check if software update is gonna work now. See that it's still not working. All right. So, um, all right. The, the, the job is finished. No big deal, man. Um. Well, let me know. Uh, how do you wanna handle this? Do you want me to pay you something right now, or you want to? Uh, you you want me to call you back once I get to drive the memory in there tomorrow? How do you want to do this? You can pay me now, no big deal. I mean, if you want to pay me for the, the software now, if you're going to buy my software setup, no big deal, man. No big deal. I, I think they pay me yeah. now for it. Yeah, I can uh, I can do that. Uh, if you want, just uh, you want just send me a PayPal. Uh, yeah, I'll send you my PayPal email. What, should I send it to you over the phone or should I paste it on the laptop? Um, let me give you my email address. No, no, no. You need my email address. Just send it to me as a friend or family if, if that option is available. If not, then PayPal will charge a little fee. You can send about you can send me about two two I don't know, about probably about two sixty, no big deal. That's okay with you. Let me get in here. Let, let uh, me text you it. Let me text you it. I think I have it here. Yes, sir. I appreciate it too, man. Thank you, brother. And um, all right then. Um, let us. All right. So what are you gonna do now? Okay, you're gonna set up the R drive tomorrow, and then send me install TeamViewer on that R drive, and then let me do my thing. Okay. All right. I'll uh, I'll get the memory and the hard drive, and I'll uh, I'll give you a text back. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You have a good night. Yes, sir. Wayne. Take care, Warren. Thank you, man. All you right. too. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. -bye. Yes, sir. Bye. Okay, YouTubers, this is a video that we finished programming this BMW F10 and then we, you know, pre-program this model right here and we inject 
CAFD files, that coding application file there at the bottom. Okay, I know both models are in green and so on. Okay, so he's gonna close the operation and off we go. Thank you for viewing my channel, YouTubers. Thank you for my subscribers. And um, so anybody need a BMW programming and encoding via ESIS or anything, WinKFPT or ISTD, you can call me at, you know, 786-355-3660. All right, this is BMW programming and encoding on YouTube channel. Have a nice day. I am out.